Russia has a torpedo which no other nation has, including the U.S. The torpedo, named VA-111 Shikval, is capable of speeds of around 200 knots an hour. This is almost four times the speed of America's Mark 48 heavyweight torpedo. A lethal weapon like this is more than a headache for a rival. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes Russia's VA-111 Shikval Superfast Torpedo. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Shikval was actually developed in the Soviet Union during the Cold War era. It was highly classified and its existence was ultimately revealed in the mid-1990s. Shikval's design works began in the 1960s when the NII-24 Research Institute was ordered to produce a new weapon capable of engaging nuclear submarines. The merger of the institute and the GSKB-47 created the Research Institute of Applied Hydromechanics, which continued with the design and production of the Shikval. It was fitted with a nuclear warhead and was meant to neutralize American and NATO surface ships and subs, including those that carried strategic nuclear-tipped ICBMs. VA-111 Shikval has a length of 8.2 meters, has a diameter of 21 inches and has a mass of 2,700 kilograms or about 6,000 pounds. It can accommodate a 210 kilogram or 460 pound warhead which can either be conventional or nuclear. The main aspect is obviously the speed. VA-111 Shikval is capable of speeds up to 200 knots an hour or 230 miles an hour or 370 kilometers per hour. The Shikval is launched from 533 millimeter torpedo tubes at 50 knots, that's 93 kilometers per hour, before its solid fuel rocket ignites and propels it to speeds of 200 knots or 370 kilometers per hour. Some reports indicate that speeds of 250 plus knots may be achieved and that work on a 300 knot, that's 560 kilometers per hour version was underway. But the torpedo has a limited range. As per reports, the range is around 11 to 15 kilometers, that's 6.8 to 9.3 miles. This is around a third the range of America's Mark 48. So the submarine has to get in very close to the target ship or submarine. Due to the speed, if it launched from that range, the targeted vessel will have almost no chance to escape. Torpedoes use propellers or pump jets for propulsion, but Shikval is totally different and uses a rocket engine powered by solid fuel propellant. This makes the torpedo faster than the counterparts to an extent. Shikval also has a trick up its sleeve that enables it to travel through the water without much drag and increase its speed to unprecedented levels. This is possible due to very innovative engineering. Shikval uses an ingenious solution. It pushes the hot rocket exhaust out of its nose, which converts the water in front of it into steam. Basically, the water is turned into gas and drag is much less, and this enables it to reach that kind of speed. This process is known as supercavitation. It's not an easy thing to pull off, and the key is to have the torpedo enclosed in the gas bubble throughout its path, especially even when it's making turning maneuvers. The gas bubble and rocket engine make a lot of noise and this means that an active and passive sonar guidance system will not work. As per reports, this is why the system initially traveled unguided and they used to travel in a straight line. 
Current versions of Schickval is known to use super cavitation for the initial length of the journey to get into the target area, then slow down and use the sonar to home into the target. Goalless autonomous inertial guidance is implemented in these variants and is much more reliable when compared to the initial variant. Schickval is extraordinary technology feat and Russia is at present the only country to have this kind of torpedo. They are tipped with a conventional warhead for the current role. Russian Navy is significantly smaller when compared to the American Navy, both in terms of surface and underwater fleet. The U.S. has 10 Nimitz-class supercarriers in active service and is already in the process of replacing them with newer Ford-class supercarriers, whereas Russia's only carrier may not be operational again. In this situation, asymmetric weapons like Schickfall is a way to maintain balance in naval warfare. As per some reports, the U.S. has also been trying to get something like this but has not been able to develop something that fits its requirement. It is to be noted that Russian and American doctrine is different in this regard, and unlike Russia, the U.S. may be looking to develop a more complex weapon which has better range and targeting capability. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.